Congratulations! You've chosen the well-being and personal independence that comes with EasyMate. The portable oxygen system that brings you safety, compact size, short fill times and simplicity in one unit. Safe operation of the EasyMate is simple with the help you've already had from your home care provider. This video offers step-by-step -step instructions and troubleshooting help to keep your EasyMate performing properly. Before filling your portable unit, check the contents indicator on your reservoir to be sure liquid oxygen is available. If oxygen is low, call your equipment provider. To prevent freezing, wipe the fill connectors on the reservoir and portable unit with a clean, dry cloth. Position the portable unit on the reservoir, carefully lining up the fill connectors. Connect the portable unit and reservoir by pressing down to the fill position. Hold the portable unit in the fill position and pull the vent to fill lever to the open position. You'll hear a hissing noise. As you fill the portable unit, press down lightly on it with one hand to keep it steady in the correct filling position. When you notice a change in the hissing noise and thick white vapor coming from the portable unit, the portable unit is full. Release the vent to fill lever to stop the flow of liquid oxygen. Pull straight up on the portable to release it from the reservoir and it's ready to go. Never leave the portable unit unattended during filling. To ensure that you have completely filled your EasyMate, take out the scale attached to the carry bag. Align the yellow tip with the slot above the fill connector. Slide the tip in, then lift up the EasyMate and read the scale. If you have filled the unit completely, the scale will read full. Attach the cannula to the outlet on the EasyMate. Insert the cannula's nares in your nostrils and fit the tubing comfortably over your ears. Then set the pulse selector to your prescribed liter flow and slip your EasyMate into the carrying bag if you like. Remember, it's normal to hear a hissing sound from the portable unit's relief valve. Depending on the type of reservoir provided, the portable unit can connect in one of two other ways. Some units will have a pin on the fill connector. Carefully line up the pin on the fill connector to the slot on the base unit and connect the portable by rotating clockwise about 90 degrees. After filling the unit, disengage by rotating counterclockwise 90 degrees. Side mounting units will have a similar pin on the fill connector. Carefully line up the pin on the fill connector to the slot on the base unit and connect the portable by rotating clockwise about 90 degrees. Once again, disengage by rotating counterclockwise 90 degrees. If minor problems come up, here are ways to fix them. If you can't easily separate the reservoir and portable unit, they may have frozen together. Allow a few minutes for the ice to melt, then release the unit. Never fill your portable unit for over 30 seconds. That will cause overfill problems, such as a half-hour delay before it can be used. Frost on the unit cap is a sign of overfilling. If you overfill your unit by mistake, set the pulse selector to zero and let it stand for 10 minutes. Attach the cannula and set the pulse selector to your proper leader flow. If the unit doesn't pulse yet, set the pulse selector again to zero and wait 10 more minutes. If liquid oxygen leaks out at the fill connector when you disconnect the portable, 
reconnect and disconnect the portable unit to dislodge any ice or other obstruction. Contact your oxygen supplier if the liquid leak persists. If you see a steady stream of liquid oxygen at the fill connector when you disconnect the portable unit, stay away from the unit and notify your oxygen supplier immediately. Use your EasyMate portable oxygen system with confidence and enjoy the safety, convenience and freedom it makes possible for you.